What is up there YouTube? This is J-Man Time and today I have a video on Swedish armored cars of the Second World War. Now Sweden was one of the few neutral countries that didn't get invaded in the Second World War. And this is largely because the Swedish army was the most powerful of the Scandinavian armed forces in the Second World War. And one of the reasons why was the Swedish army had a number of well-designed tanks and armored cars. But this video we're going to focus on the armored cars of the Swedish army of the Second World War. Sweden had been developing armored cars since the mid-1920s and had built up a fairly large fleet of armored cars before the outbreak of World War II. So let's go over some of the Swedish armored cars of the Second World War. And the first armored car on the list is actually the oldest one and that is the Todd Holm Brook Panzerbill M25. Well, the Panzerbill M25, which was a four-wheeled armored car that was constructed between 1924 and 1925. And this was actually a small series of just three experimental armored cars that were used as mostly training vehicles by the Swedish Army all the way up until the end of World War II. These vehicles were armed with one 6.5mm Hotchkiss Model 1900 machine gun, which was a Swedish modification to the old French Hotchkiss Model 1900 machine gun chambered for the Swedish 6.5mm cartridge. The vehicle had an armor thickness of 5mm and the vehicle had a crew of 3 or 4. The speed on this vehicle is largely unknown and only 3 experimental vehicles were constructed. Now these were built by a company known as the Teda Holmes Brook Company, which was a steel mill company based in Sweden, and this was the years before Landsberg and Bofors companies got into manufacturing vehicles for the Swedish army. These vehicles served all the way up until 1945 and served during the Second World War. One of the prototypes was scrapped in 1935. The other two prototypes stayed in service as training vehicles until the end of the Second World War, where they were finally decommissioned in the late 1940s. The next armored car on the list actually comes from the early 1930s, and this was the Landsberg Panzerbill M29. The FM29 was an experimental heavy armored car that was constructed for sale to the Swedish Army by both the Landsberg and Bofors Company, the same Bofors Company that would go on to produce anti-aircraft weapons for both the Swedish Army and anti-aircraft weapons for export to Allied nations during the Second World War. This vehicle was armed with a 37mm Swedish Model 1898 naval gun, and its secondary armament was a 1.8 millimeter Model 1914 Model 1929 coaxial machine gun or turreted machine gun. The armor thickness was only 4 to 6 millimeters, and this vehicle had a speed of 37 miles per hour or 60 kilometers per hour, and it had a crew of five. Only one prototype was ever built, and the reason being is the Swedish military thought this vehicle was too expensive to be mass produced and so only the single prototype was purchased and used as a training vehicle and used as a training vehicle all the way up until 1945 where it was finally replaced for more modern armored fighting vehicles now this vehicle here actually reminds me of some of the heavy armored cars that were developed by Czechoslovakia during the 1930s also. It also reminds me of some of the homemade armored cars that were used during the Second World War. The next series of armored cars comes from the Bofors Company, and these are actually armored trucks known as the Bofors Panzerbill M31. And these were multi-purpose armored trucks that were constructed between 1930 and 1931. 32 of these armored trucks were developed and were mostly used as training vehicles by the Swedish Army during the years before and during the Second World War. These vehicles were armed with one 37mm M1898 naval gun and these were later replaced in World War II with one 20mm Bofors M40 anti-tank weapon, anti-tank autocannon slash anti-aircraft autocannon. They were also fitted with one 6.5mm Model 1929 coaxial machine gun in the front of the vehicle. The armor thickness was 5.5 to 13mm and the vehicle had a speed of 37 miles per hour and it had a crew of 5. 
Only 32 of these armored trucks were completed, and they served throughout the Second World War, mostly as training vehicles, but they could also be used as small armored personnel carriers, as they could carry five men in total. Later in the 1930s and 1933, the Lasford Company began producing a series of export armored cars known as the Lansford L-180, L-181, and L-182. And these were 4x4 multi-purpose armored cars that were manufactured for export to client states of Sweden. These vehicles had a main armament of one 37mm Bofors M36 tank gun, or anti-tank gun, which was literally an anti-tank gun that was modified for use in armored fighting vehicles. And they also had two 8mm M39 machine guns, Waxo machine guns. The armor thickness was between 5 and 15 millimeters, and the vehicles had a speed of 80 kilometers per hour, or 50 miles per hour, and it had a crew of 5. Only 48 vehicles were produced, and only 5 of these actually served in the Swedish army during the Second World War. The remaining vehicles were actually exported to the nations of Denmark, Estonia, Ireland, the Netherlands, Lithuania, and Finland. Two of these vehicles were also captured by the Soviet Union and Nazi Germany during the Second World War, and they were captured when the Germans annexed the Netherlands and when the Soviets annexed Lithuania, Estonia, and Latvia during the Second World War. So only five of these vehicles actually served in the Swedish army during the Second World War. Keep in mind, Sweden was neutral in World War II, so these were not actually used in combat by the Swedish army. The next vehicle on the list was actually not used by the Swedish forces, but was used by Denmark, or Denmark, which was an ally of Sweden during the Second World War, at least a neutral trade partner of Sweden. And this vehicle is the Landsverk L-185, and this was a one-off experimental vehicle that was actually designed for sale to Denmark with the hopes that the Danish army would purchase more of them but they only purchased this one prototype. And this was a multi-purpose armored car from 1934. This vehicle was armed with one 20mm Madsen M38 auto cannon, which was also serves as an anti-tank weapon, and was armed with two 8mm Madsen machine guns, coaxial machine guns. The armor thickness was 5 to 15 millimeters, and the vehicle had a speed of 80 kilometers per hour, or 50 miles per hour, and a crew of four. Only one vehicle was sold to Denmark just before World War II and was later captured by the Germans when Germany annexed Denmark in 1940. So this is one of the few Swedish armored fighting vehicles that actually saw some service in the Second World War, despite Sweden actually being neutral. The next armored car on the list is actually the best the Swedish armored fighting vehicle of the Second World War, and that is the Panzerbill M39, also known as the Linux series. And this was originally a project that was developed for sale to Denmark also. Now Denmark actually purchased the first three prototypes in 1938 and actually served in the Danish army until they were captured by the Germans in 1940. Now Sweden had produced 15 more production models but these were later taken in to Swedish service following Denmark and Norway's annexation in 1940 by Germany when Germany annexed those two countries at the start of World War II. Sweden would go on to produce some 48 of these Linux armored cars for the Swedish army. These vehicles had a main armament of one 20mm Bofors M40 anti-tank slash anti-aircraft autocannon and were also armed with three 8mm M model, model 1939 coaxial machine guns. The vehicle had an armor thickness of 8 to 13 millimeters and had a speed of 70 kilometers per hour or 43.4 miles per hour and it had a crew of six and these were actually the most advanced Swedish armored cars of the Second World War. This was not the last Swedish armored fighting vehicle developed during the Second World War. It could fit into the armored car slash armored truck category. And that brings us to the last vehicle on the list, and this is actually a Swedish armored personnel carrier. It is not really an armored car, and that is the Tarangbil M42KP, which was a limited production armored personnel carrier that was produced by Sweden from 1942 
all the way up into the 1950s actually. And this vehicle was actually developed as a response to armored personnel carriers being used by both the Allies and Axis powers in the Second World War. Keep in mind, Sweden did not really have any armored personnel carriers. The Panzer-built M31 was the closest they had up until this point. So in, in 1942, the Swedes began manufacturing these armored personnel carriers for the Swedish army. And they had a main armament of two 8mm M36 twin machine guns. The armor thickness was between 8 and 20 millimeters, and the vehicle had a crew of two but could carry seven troops. These vehicles would actually go on to serve the longest out of all of the Swedish vehicles developed before and during the Second World War. These vehicles after World War II would go on to be used by the United Nations or the UN as peacekeeping vehicles throughout the Cold War. And they were also used as armored personnel carriers by the Swedish army all the way up until the 1990s. So these vehicles were in service for like 60 years past their due date. And they were some of the most reliable vehicles. These vehicles are also famous for having been used during the Congo crisis of the 1960s, also known as the Katanga War of the 1960s and the Congo region where they were actually used by Irish peacekeeping troops who came under attack by some of the locals during that conflict. Some of these were also captured by the opposing forces and pressed into service as armored personnel carriers with the state of Katanga and Kasai during the Congo crisis of the 1960s. So these vehicles had a very long service history after World War II. And that's basically it. These were the Swedish armored cars and armored car-like vehicles that were developed before and during the Second World War. If I had to pick, obviously my favorite is the Panzerbilt M39 Linux, as that is the best looking Swedish armored fighting vehicle or armored car of the Second World War. So what do you all think of these uh, Swedish armored cars? Uh, please tell me in the comments section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time, signing off.